Hi, my name is Saurav Dhani and in this video, as promised earlier, we'll see a demo of approver type workflow user group. And in, in subsequent video, I'll talk about other approver type options which are available in the workflow. This is the fourth video in this series. And in the earlier videos, we have talked about different workflow setup options, about notifications, about job queues, SMTPs, and all those setup options. And in following videos, we'll talk about uh, or demo how you can actually use those different options which are available. So it'll help you to, to choose which approval type you want to use and how which one fits to your business as per your requirement uh, we'll go through all these steps in business central 16 as i said earlier in 2020 release wave one but you can follow these steps in certain versions of dynamic snap and all the versions of business centrals so before we start let's understand uh, what we are going to do in this particular video so we'll be covering two scenarios one where a user in this case me will be sending an approval request and the approval requests will go to approver one once approver one approves it then the next uh, approval entry will be created for approver two and you can go on forward uh, as many approvers you need and the other example we'll see that where I'll send an approval entry to both the approvals at the same time and any of them approves it my document will be ready to post so it's kind of like you have you require multiple uh, either or people to approve your entry so let's see how we can achieve this with workflow user group and to make it simple what I have done is I have opened three windows one is for my user who will be sending the request sort of and then two different windows one for approver one and one for approver two so let's go ahead into the requester window which is me s sort of and let's go to and first let's review our workflow user group that we have created in earlier videos so if you remember we created a workflow user group called demo one and here I have set up approver one and approver two as two users who will be getting these approval requests so for the first demo on this one we want both of them to be approving that document so I'll change the sequence number one and two what will happen with that is the first approval request will go to approver one and once he approve or she approves it then it goes to approver two so our user group setup is done now we'll have to update our workflow so let's go to workflow screen and select our approval workflow that we have created for sales and in the first event responses we'll change the approver type as workflow user group and then we'll choose the group code that we created or just updated demo one so now this workflow we will use these settings while sending out approval request so let's click ok and let's enable our workflow so once you enable it it checks for all validations that are needed to check that everything is correct or not and if everything is correct the workflow will get enabled so now as we have created it let's go to our sales orders and pick one order which is status open let's say this one 
and as a requester sort of I'll send the approval request send approval request and as I click on it it will process or execute the workflow steps that are defined and I'll get a message that approval request has been sent and as soon as the approval request is sent the status will be pending approval as a requester I can always come into navigate and then under orders I can check approvals which will show me where my order stays uh, is right now is it send is it created open approved rejected so I can check it from here so as you can see the approver one entry is open that means he need to approve and approver two is created but not yet open and it'll get open once a once approver one approves it so let's see what that means let's go to approver one screen and let it refresh and let me key in my user okay approver one license is expiring that's okay to approve the request the approver will go to request to approve a screen and you'll see a entry but before we approve it let's go to the approver 2 screen and see what approver 2 sees okay and then we'll understand what open and created means so that it helps us to understand that so once you log in into approver 2 window we'll go to the same page request to approve and we see nothing so because the entry is created approver 2 is seeing nothing right now so let's go back to approver 1 and let's see what approver 1 sees here it sees the amount the due date who requested it what is the order detail and he can also open the record and see what record it is what type of tri uh, items are being sold on the sales order then you have options to approve reject delegate or add comments and add comments into the document so let me see and add a comment looks good approving okay and close it and then I choose to approve it so once I approve one approves it let's see what happened in the requester screen sort of screen if I click on navigate click on orders and see approvals now the approver one entry status is changed to approved and approver two entry is now open which was earlier created I can also as a requester see that did my approver put a comment and these comments are more logical when the approver rejects it so once that is done now the work starts for approver two let's open request to approve And now the approver to sees the approval request he have the same options to see approve reject delegate or add comments to it so let's assume he also approves it so once both the approver approves it we'll see two changes and I'll have to go back a step to show you the changes and open the document again one the status is now released so that means now it's ready to be posted and other the person can also check from approval that where the status is where the order approval cycle is both of them have approved it so now I can go and post this order if I need now that's one scenario that you can handle with 
uh, workflow user group now let's see the second scenario and what kind of changes are required for that scenario so if you want to set up a approval like this where either of these approver approves it and your uh, approval workflow should get complete there are two changes that we'll have to do one is in workflow user group and we will have to change the sequence number to one which means that both the approvers will get the request at the same time both the entries will be open when I request it the other change which I'll have to do is I'll have to go to workflows and modify my workflow a little bit now remember this whenever you try to change anything on the workflow you'll have to first set it to disable a enable workflow cannot be changed now let's understand what we need to change now what we want that even one of the approver user approves a request the sales order in this case the sales order document must be released or the approval cycle should be completed so we'll have to change the condition of number of pending approvals because when you request for approval two entries will again be created and both will be open and this workflow only finishes when the pending approval are zero but as we are saying that either of them will approve it then the pending approval should change so we'll say that pending approval should be one and same will change it here to greater than one now this change is based on my setup where I have only two users in my workflow user group if you have more than two then you just need to change that number to the right value let's say if you have three uh, approvals in your workflow user group then you will change pending approval to two and greater than two and the reason is that we want if either of them approves it the document should be released and the workflow should complete for that so with this change when one of the approver approves the sales document the count decreases to pending approval one because I have two hence when the one of the approver approves the sales document it's released and the workflow is complete so hope that makes it clear we'll enable it again and we'll go back and test this out so we'll pick another order let's say this one in this time at this time and we will request approval for this so once I click send approval request the document status changed to pending approval and I can again want to go and see what my approval cycle look like so if you see right now the only difference from the earlier one is now there are two entries and both are open in the last time one was open and one was created this time both are open okay let's see what that means 101018 we are dealing with let's go to approver one screen and see what options he sees on request to approve he sees an entry what about approver 2 request to approve he also sees an entry so now both of them see an entry any of them approves it or rejects it that particular uh, change or approval uh, status will be updated to the actual document or should be updated to the actual document so let's see what happens I say and I go and approve this 
once I do that let's see what happens here on approver one screen if I click on request to approve there is still one pending but that's okay let's see the actual document on the requester screen when I go back and open my sales orders this one was the order if you see the status is released that means this document has been processed let's go into navigate and see my order status you'll see that this one is approved so because approver 2 approved it approver 1 approval is not required and the document status is changed to released so that's more or less for this workflow user group if you have any questions on workflow user group type let me know in comments and i can surely come up with uh, maybe a second video on the same to uh, answer your questions i hope you find this demo useful uh, as requested in the next video we'll talk about other approval types which are available with the workflows please share your views questions suggestions as comment to this video please do share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it have a great day and see you next time